Hi guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the stroke panel um, right after this. Okay, let's plunge right into um, learning how to do the stroke panel. So um, I'm going to show you how to get the stroke panel onto your panel uh, um, center place where all these panels are or you can set it down here if, if you want to um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that you go up to your view studio probably already know how to do this um, you go down to stroke and you click on stroke and here it is so let's set it up here set it over here by uh, brushes so here's your stroke panel and um, Today we're going to be experimenting with this uh, honey design layout type thing, and uh, and so we're going to be experimenting with this uh, um, little outer edge dotted line um, rectangle thing. So I'm going to click on the layer, and um, we're going to come up a little bit. Okay, so. First, I'm going to show you um, how to use it from another place. You can either use it here or you can use it here. It pops up with your dotted line right here, your dotted line uh, um, pattern right here. Um, you can just, usually I keep mine on color, so if you just want to keep it on color, um, you can just click on here. That's, this is what I usually use, but if you want to have it over here, you can. So. Um, so first I'm going to show you uh, what you can do with this dotted line since it's already on dotted line. Um, you can change the width, width of course, and uh, make it bigger. So you can make it bigger or smaller, and um, then there's this thing that's called cap. So if I zoom up here, get on this uh, dotted line, um, you can see that the edges are rounded because my cap is set to rounded edges right here and you can put it on this cap which means the inner line goes right to the edge or you can um, put it on this one which has like a little bit of space on the outer side so um, but this looks the most um, artsy I guess um, so and then there's join, and uh, join doesn't really work um, for this because uh, I don't have it as a square, so it wouldn't really work for this. But I'll show you about that later. Um, align is you can align it um, inside the line like this, or you can align it outside, or you can just uh, keep it in the middle. So that's that, and. Uh, and if you actually had fill right here um, on the inside, you could draw behind fill. That's what this little check mark thing is for. And um, since I don't have fill there, I'm not going to try it. And then um, scale with object object is um, really important. Um, a really good feature. If you select this um, and you bring this down, it will automatically change the width. Um, up here so you don't have to go up here and change the width and so um, that's a really nice feature that I d didn't know for a little while when I first got affinity so um, and then back down here is uh, um, how long your dashes are going to be so it's not just like this continual same dash thing um, so I could change this to four and then it would be the same dash but it, just the space would be different. I could change this to two, and it would be the exact same. But um, this is the space, and this is the space. This, these are both dashes. So if you want to make a little bit um, different, you could do like seven here, and like five here, or five here. So I'll sort of make it look random. Of course, that doesn't look very nice because it's. Um, 
width is rather big, so um, I'm gonna um, bring this down to um, like two, and bring this down to like one. Let's go with three. Okay, so that's basically how I had it before, and I like how that looked. Um, and then you can, uh, depending on where it starts, you can uh, adjust it to wherever you want for sort of ch switch, like pushes it down the line a little bit. So that's helpful. Okay, so now let's uh, experiment with the um, this solid line style. Um, so I'm going to talk about this join thing, um, and up here you can change the uh, whether it's rounded or or just straight. So here I've got this uh, sort of rounded pointed edge. If you zoom back, it looks pointed, but it's actually rounded a little bit. So, but if you want to make it perfectly sharp, um, you come here and you click this join thing, and um, there's this other one that just like cuts it off at a perfect angle so, so it makes it a rough edge but this is just like perfect edge perfect rounded edge um, so that's what that's for and um, now here you can um, select your brushes and uh, select pressure and uh, this, there's the same things you can click on here so um, let's go to the brushes so here at the brushes um, uh, you can select any brush from the brushes panel right here. Um, so you just select a brush that suits you and uh, click here and then you click on properties and it come, pops up with the brush thing. So you can push, you can change the pressure, velocity, you put none, change the size variance, put this up a bit. Okay, and um, um, and change the pressure a little bit. You can change the pressure like crazy; it makes it look really weird. But I'm just gonna um, have a nice even one. That looks good. So um, I'm gonna close this. And with this, it's really cool. You can do pressure. So I'm gonna zoom out here. To zoom out, you uh, push um, Command minus or plus on the uh, Mac. I don't know what it is for the Windows, but um, so you can uh, bring this down, and then you uh, make pressure less pressure in the middle. See how it sort of gets thick on the ends, and um, more pressure out here than at the ends. So that would probably be more realistic. But you sort of have to do like a steep a steep, steep drop. So I'm going to change it real quick here. And that makes it look a little bit more uh, real I guess. Um, so pressure is very nice. Um, so um, you have to actually click on brushes to um, change brushes, but um, so that's basically the only thing that it that isn't very nice about it. Um, you don't you can't like click on whenever you click on properties, you can't select different brushes here or whatever. But um, I think that's fine. Um, so so yeah, you can get on here and. Um, and this thing also is for if you don't want any outline at all, of course. Please share this video with your friends and uh, maybe subscribe if you um, want more Affinity Designer tutorials. Um, so uh, thanks for watching.